Pretty colors. Pretty colors. Well, what's different too, I think, when you don't see it on the, you know, the blue? Yeah. That might have been Paul Grunt. Oh, no, we did get some paint from Archer. Um, yeah, Sherwin Williams. Yeah, Sherwin Williams. Oils, right? just no. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, he did oil last year. Did oil last year, folks. And oh, yeah? Feet, and I had blue feet <laughs> for a very long time. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's hmm? hard. Okay. I got some background music. <laughs> You want someone to hold your glasses? No. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Before you start talking. Okay. We, we just want to say thank you to everybody that came out today. This is our third annual um, Arts from Our Park. And this event came about from a very nice email I received from um, Rick's wife, Caroline complaining about some people in the park that in which was a very valid complaint so when I it was the nicest complaint I'd ever gotten <laughs> and so I I called her up but I got this other guy he answered the phone and in apologizing and trying to figure out how we could remedy the situation which we hopefully we did Rick and I started talking about he just started telling me he does art in the park and I was thinking of doing a wild game soup event in the park. Artist I'm not is Rex. Where's Rex? Just learned by teaching me how to make a tree. But anyways, is um, we got to talking, and that's how this event came about. Was Rick is part of Outreach and just loves art. He paints in the park. And he and Caroline spend many, many hours, I know, in Deerfield Park and our, our, our other parks. They live right across from Meridian Park. So... We are very, I'm very grateful, I know our, my, the park, uh, other park staff is very grateful for what Rick and Caroline have brought to us here in Deerfield Park. It, not that it would just have been a wild game soup event, but he has brought, you know, many artists into this park that otherwise, you know, may not have are brought together in our park. But we're also very sad to know that, um, and happy for them, but Rick and Caroline are moving on Monday to Virginia. So we're very, very heartbroken that they are leaving but we do want to give them our thanks and our I don't know just enthusiasm for what you guys have brought into the park now we do have there's a little card over here that's being signed by everyone that has come to the park today oh. and the three tiles here which are still drying are for you and Caroline to take with you thank you yep this along with um that big sign over there, a couple canopies. I don't know what else you can fit in a moving thing, but but anyway, so just please, you know, give your thanks to Rick and Caroline. I mean, before you leave, I mean, we are just so thrilled. We hope they come back, and I know it's hard to plan anything, but we do hope they come back for each art and part. But without further ado, Rick will do his crazy canvas like nobody else's business. So. Okay. How am I doing? <laughs> this, is, this is getting this is getting tedious. Oh man, I love this orange, don't you? <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh, it's watery. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you get a pain like this at home? Tell <laughs> your mom, this is how you want to do it. <laughs> Paint in the air. <laughs>
inspired by your music. In the old days, we used to do this with, with something beer and strong or so. <laughs> Camping sober. Come back to our park. They're beautiful. They're inspiring. And just as an inspired song and dance and poets and paintings, it can inspire your hearts to find this wonderful treasure we have with our parks and how the Chippewa Water Conservancy conserves it, the Parks and Rec continues to sustain these beautiful parks for us, these invisible people that keep things in shape, and Art Reach, which makes uh, a lot of what I do possible. So thank you all for coming. And yeah! <laughs>